The outside world will be so bad you'll want to be in the simulated world. This, you scan with a camera on it, your body, your biometrics. You, you turn forward, sideways, and backwards. Your 360 body is now scanned. Two-way, the feds are in it. This is, this is, Microsoft is the feds, just like IBM. On record, in-game covers it. It's now declassified. We covered it two years ago. It's now mainstream news. But I know people high level, two different people, but one super high level in the involvement with the development of all this. And this is literally meant to mesmerize, to lower your brain waves, to put you into a trance. Television already does it. But this is to bring you to the next level. This is the opting into the matrix. Notice the kids, when you see them at the restaurants, they're not talking to their parents. They're texting. They watch four or five hours of TV a day, two or three hours of video games. They won't talk to their friends across the table. They're texting to them. They're not having language anymore. That's a major British study about all this media. People don't have language anymore. The language is being reduced down where you can't talk to people. So we're being sucked into the matrix. The TV screen is a lens on which projects through the eyes, which are brain stems, literally windows into the soul, interfacing. And so we're being mesmerized, being sucked into the crystal ball. That's how they liken it. So, so people are opting into the matrix, being sucked in. 30, 40 years ago, writers talked about how you'd live in Manhattan or Houston or wherever, and you'd see high-rise buildings with people fighting and people playing pool and people, people gambling or people having sex or people reading or people laughing. Now you look at high-rise buildings and it's nothing but blue glow at night. No one's talking. No one's living. The TV is the life. It's ever, and it's teaching you how to tattle on your neighbors. It's teaching you you're fat and inadequate. It's teaching you that cops tasering you are good. And the second amendment's bad. It's all messages, all brainwashing. That torture is good. That vaccines are good. It's, it's all, you're, you're opting in and it's made to be comfortable and funny and goofy and your choices and your favorites. This is the control system. Do you think you're going into something fun? This is a scientific Pentagon assault on you and your family. So the control grid is a technological enslavement paradigm. And it's all standardized, all controlled, always being honed, being implemented in phases. This is all stated by Internet 2 and Rand Corporation documents and MIT. They're all on record bragging about it. They're on power trips. There's these arrogant technocrats and there's psychologists, psychiatrists, controllers above them and then the elites who make the decisions who are very proud of how dumb the public is and how they've dumbed the public down further and how they use every human instinct to manipulate us and, and, and every human instinct against us to control us. Now, the, the end game of this is to have the false culture of the television and the different niche groups they're targeting integrate and then manifest on the ground to have the delusions, the disinformation and the paranoia and the lies manifest in the real three-dimensional world, not the two-dimensional television. That's why they're coming ahead with every major production firm, Industrial Light and Magic, DreamWorks, uh, the group headed up uh, by James Cameron to go to holograms and now they're introducing holograms on CNN to make the unreality even more real. So they want to highly control mobility. Mobility by having you watch TV instead of go play basketball. Mobility instead of having you spend time reading history books to your children so you'll watch your show, they watch their show. Mobility where you've got to have all the trinkets and crap so you're in debt to buy all the little trinkets they sell and all the gadgetry which controls you further. By federal law, all the cell phones track you down to a few feet with, with GPS triangulators off the cell towers. By law, they can listen to you even without a warrant and even when the phone is turned off. I told you that 12 years ago. Now it's mainstream news. I just point out, don't be in denial anymore. Remember all the things I talked about? we got to just get all the hundreds of old shows, video shows, TV shows. I didn't put them on the web. Some folks are doing that. But if you've got my shows, you watched me in Austin for years, just put them on the web, folks. This is the opting into the matrix, the control grid, the tech system, the tattletale squads to control mobility to control where you can go, what you can do. They're going to use the carbon tax to do that as well. No non-essential travel. All these new taxes and regulations. Everything you do and say and buy will be inventoried on your global ID card for the carbon tax with carbon rationing. That's the official UN plan. Now Pelosi's saying, and I'm getting hundreds of emails going, how did you know this? It's all stated. 
DNA illegally taken at birth, now they admit it to the slaves. Forced inoculations, now openly being announced. The census lying and saying you got to answer questions yearly and monthly, running around getting GPS at your front door. The face scanners, the thumbprint scanners, the license plate readers everywhere you go tracking you. DHS reports saying gun owners, veterans, those that talk about the Constitution, those that wear, you know, patriot type, don't tread on me t-shirts or bumper stickers are terrorists. Most of the Homeland Security funding being spent on that. The Patriot Act being used in non-terror related cases. Patriot Act compliance with no more warrants with the feds tied in <clears throat> to the Banks databases, looking at everything you buy, sell, and do, looking at all your transactions, guilty until proven innocent. 